What is up everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office and today we're going to be revisiting T-Rex Miner on Ethereum for all of these 30 series cards I have. And the reason why is last time, I'll link to the video, I tested this, I left the core clock mostly at zero for the sake of time. And now I'm going to see if I can reduce the power consumption on these cards using the locked core clock, which works pretty well on these 16 series cards over here. So uh, yeah, before I start though, I have to give a huge shout out to the person who beat me to it and inspired me to make this video. Crypto Mining Insider. So again, I'll leave a link to his channel. He tested out most of the cards I have here, except the 3080. So we'll get to that one. I didn't see him test a lock core clock, so we're gonna experiment a little bit. And on the rest of the cards I have here, so the light hash rate 3060 Ti's, light hash rate 3070, and light hash rate 3070 Ti, I will be using his overclocks and just validating that we can get similar results on the power savings. I figure using the same overclocks might give you guys some solid information on, look, on this card, this lock core clock value seems to work properly, so you can just use what we use. At the end, like usual, I'll go to the Excel sheet and we'll compare the efficiencies of just core clock zero and the lock core clock. So let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna try is the 3060 Ti's. I have two of them here, so we'll get to those. And I also have one in that gaming computer. So we'll just get the 3070 at the same time because I'm running it in the same batch file. So the 3060 Ti's beforehand, we got about 135 watts power consumption on both of these here, if I remember correctly. And now you can see that the power consumption is lower overall, but it does fluctuate. So uh, yeah, you can see it changing there. It's down to 118 watts on the Asus card and uh, yeah, 124 watts on the Zotac card. So it varies, but it never seems to go over what it was on the zero core clock. So. It seems to be an improvement here on the lock core clock, I can't complain, and that is reflected in the efficiency. So before, I don't think we were breaking the 350 mark, and now we are above that. So pretty good, can't complain. Again, net improvements I'll always take. Even if they're small, an improvement is an improvement. I will say, I think we're losing maybe a tiny, tiny bit of hash rate. Uh, I think it varies with the power again, but the overall efficiency is better, so we'll stick with it. Now, if we look at the 3070, it's the same story, more or less. So the power was closer to 115, 120 watts. And now you can see it's around 105 watts. Uh, if we look at the iterations before, it does fluctuate. But here you go, 113 watts there, the one before 109. So again, always lower than it was on the uh, normal zero core clock. Uh, I'll tell you guys what I'm running here is 1380 core clock on the 3060 Ti's and 1065 on my light hash rate 3070, which is the Asus Dual. So let's check out this 3060 Ti here. I set it to the same value for locked core clock that the power, which was sitting at 130 watts, is now, again, same story, lower in general. So it spikes up to that 130 watts, but the average will be lower, and again, our efficiency is better. Uh, the next thing we will go to is back to the rig here, and we will test out the 3070 Ti. We're up to the big boys now. For the 3070 Ti, it's not amazing. We were getting 185 watts before, and again, now it's bouncing between 175 and 185, so again, savings. Uh, I would say it's not as dramatic as the other cards, but it's not affecting the hash rate at all. Uh, I will say the results I'm finding so far on the 3060 Ti's and the 3070's are very similar to what Crypto Mining Insider was getting. So that validates those results. Those values for core clock seem to work pretty well on the 30 series cards I showed. And now we're on to the 3080, which is a bit of uncharted territory. So I set the locked core clock to 1025 and let's see what that gives guys. And for the 3080, again, it seems to be the same story across the board. So the power fluctuates a little bit. You can see from 220 to about 235, which is what we were at before. So net increase in efficiency and it seems like there's a slight drop in hash rate, but again, if the efficiency increases and you're not losing a lot of hash rate, for me, it's worth it to go for the more efficient option. So that's pretty good overall. What I wanna do is quickly, I'll share a screenshot. I took a screenshot of the 3060, hey there, bud, of the T-Rex miner for the 3060 Ti's and 3070's all together. And I'll just compare the total power consumption between both. Again, that is reported. But because of this ZSX breakout board, you get a half decent impression of the actual power draw at the wall. So um, it's not powering all my cards. It's not powering this 3060 Ti and the 3080, but it is powering all of these. So I do see a difference on this. 
So let's switch over to that comparison quick, quick, just so you can see. Okay, so here's my screenshot from before trying the lock core clock with all my cores set at zero. And you can see here the power consumption is about 618 watts. It was more stable with this. And now we were getting around 590 watts uh, on average. So that's a 25 to 30 watt savings using the lock core clock just on these cards. And here is the trusty Excel sheet. You can see my previous overclocks are on top here, just using the core clock. Most of the times it's zero. You can see on the 3070, I actually set it to 100, but no matter. And at the bottom here, it is the core clock. Uh, okay, right away, I made a mistake. You can see it says Raven here. It's not Raven. Obviously, it's ETH. We'll just keep going. Um, before, you can see we got slightly more hash rate. I'm trying to be a little more conservative too on the lock core clock, meaning I'm putting slightly lower hash values and higher po uh, power values to try and give a conservative estimate versus the core clock all right so a worst case scenario type of comparison and you can see the efficiencies overall are quite a bit better i would say the lock core clock seems to give a bigger improvement on the hynix memory from what i've tested here so if you guys just look at that my efficiency before was 350 on the samsung and went up to 360 whereas my efficiency was closer to 335 on the hynix memories and now it's up to that 355 range let's say so really good improvement again i'm i'm using 1380 here and the memory clock is here as well. I know last video, I forgot to put the overclocks in the video. I put them in the description. So I made sure to have all the information here. And I don't show the power limit because the power limit doesn't really matter when you're using the locked core clock. So if we move on to the 3070, again, a nice net improvement. We went from about 390 efficiency to 418. So not bad. Our hash rate stays about the same. Again, I put in a little loss, but we gain... Um, or lose 10 watts of consumption. So overall net gain, I'm really happy about that. Uh, let's move on to the 3070 Ti and 3080. So these two I'll just kind of cover together because it's more or less the same story. There's an improvement in both cases. So more or less a five to 10 watt gain. It's even bigger on the 3080 than it is in the 3070 Ti. So proportionally to the amount of watts they take, it's not as large of an increase, right? When you're comparing to the 3060 Ti, let's say. But again, it's it seems better to always use the lock core clock versus not using it. Because you can see our hash rates here stay virtually the same. On the 3070 Ti, actually, I didn't see any hash rate drop at all. Um, I'm using my 3070 Ti to mine Ravencoin right now, but if you are using a 3070 Ti to mine ETH, definitely slap that locked core clock on, no questions asked. And the 3080, I, I did see a drop of about one mega hash or, or close to that, but again, a good 10 to 12 watts saved. So uh, the efficiencies go up a little bit here. I can't complain. And again, the overclocks are there if you're interested. So I think that's it for today. The moral of the story here is use lock core clock on 30 series cards, all right? Use it, at least if you're mining Ethereum. I'm not sure about Ravencoin because Ravencoin is a very core intensive algorithm, so I'm not sure the lock core clock will do you any benefit there. But for Ethereum, it seems it's well worth it. Uh, again, I don't have a 3080 Ti or a 3090 to test it out. Crypto Mining Insider tested out the 3080 Ti, so if you guys want to see that, go check out his video. If you enjoyed my video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day and peace out.